Hello everyone, welcome back to my workbench up here in the study at Donkitz Model Railway. First off, thank you to all the new subscribers who have found the channel because of the coaching stock formations video I put out last week. That one has done rather well, much better than I expected, and rather better than anything I've put out before in fact. There's more on that subject to come, so watch this space. But for long-suffering followers of ABC Breaking, the ABC PCB is now available. It's on the PCBWay Community Projects page, link in the description. If you want one, well actually I think you have to order a minimum of five, but anyway, you can now order them. Click the button on the page and it will take you straight to the PCB ordering page with the gerbers preloaded. There are many options here, but for me at least, these all came up with same defaults which didn't need editing. And you know what, that's actually a really cheap price. Five boards for just over $10 delivered. Not express delivery admittedly, but that's still really good. I don't recall it being that cheap last time I ordered these. Let me check for 10. $12 for 10 boards delivered, that's pretty amazing. Okay, that is just the boards, the components still need to be sourced, but that's suspiciously cheap. I did check while logged out, and it doesn't appear to be a special deal just for me because it's my project. This looks to be the deal available to everybody. Shipping costs will of course vary depending on where you're ordering them to, how fast you want them, and you may also have to pay import duty for your country, although at that low price I would suspect most places won't bother. If you don't yet have an account, feel free to sign up with my referral code. You'll get $5 of free credit, which will pay for the PCBs entirely, and then all you're paying for is the shipping. Talking of components, what is it you need to assemble one of these? You'll need 1N540 something diodes. 5 per block, 20 for the whole board. These produce the ABC braking effect for the DCC. Why these ones? Because these are high power, 3 amp forward current diodes. That's enough to handle the stall current of a pair of large locos. This should be more than enough to cope with whatever is in the braking section at any point. The last number, 1N5400, 1N5401, 1N5402 and so on, specifies the reverse voltage. The lowest option is 50 volts well high enough that our DCC at normally 16 volts, but possibly into the 20s if you're running a larger scale, will be no problem. So you can use whatever is cheapest to source from your local electronics supplier. You also need a single pole relay per block. Two different relay footprints are on the PCB, one for common cube single pole double throw relays like I've used here, and one for a narrower type often seen for single pole single throw, normally open relays. The relays have a protection diode on the board. This is a 1N4001 and catches any inductive spikes from the coil in the relay when it is de-energised. This prevents any damage to the transistor drive output of whatever you have controlling these. That's all the electronic components. You just need a 5mm pitch two-way screw terminal for the DCC to connect to the bus and the track section, and also a connector for the control signal. There are two control connector footprints on the board. One is a two row three pin, which suits an IDC ribbon connection. And the other is a single row of six pins, which should take a variety of connectors. The board takes a common power supply and four active low inputs. This is ideal for driving with a transistor output from another board, like the Merg Canvi outboards I'm using here. Other layout control systems designed to drive relays will likely be arranged in a similar way, as it's the normal way to drive a relay from a transistor. Voltage is dependent on relays. You can build it for 12 volt like I have here with these 12 volt relays, or use 5 volt relays if the outputs on whatever you are using to control it is intended to run at 5 volts. The Merg Can V out is switchable to run at either voltage, and I've chosen to run it at 12. If you're using something else, check what you need before ordering your relays. Braking is on by default and off when the relay is energized. The input pin is held low. If you build these and use them on your layout, I'd love to hear your experience with them, whether that's in the comments here, on the PCBWay community project page, making a video yourself, posting on social media, or in a forum. I'm working through the permissions for publishing the other designs, and I'll let you know when and where they become available. If you are enjoying this video, or finding it useful, hit the like button. If you want to see more of my layout, or the stock I run on it, hit the subscribe button. If you have a question, comment or suggestion, write it in the comment section below. See you next time up here in the study at Dongit's Model Railway.